Vitaly, yes. How are yes, you? Yes, are you uh, fine, Beth? Yes, yes, I here. Thank you, I'm okay. How are you? I am also fine. Hello to you, Eugenie, Alexander. Hi. How are Hi. you? Hi. How are you today? Hello. Are you fine? Okay. Not fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Here you have a link. Uh -huh. Let's open it. So today we are talking about idiom. So it's an advanced level of uh, English vocabulary. Uh, these um, idioms are rather bright, rather uh, interesting, and I think that in some cases it will be easy to guess their meaning. So let's start uh, just from the first idiom. So have you opened the document? Yes, I have. Uh -huh. You have? Okay. So the first idiom is the in the black, and here you have the explanation, but in Russian. Uh, Alexander, could you explain this idiom in English? So, what does it mean to be in the black? In the black means uh, to have s uh, success in in money. Uh, to have success. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So, to have success in in money uh, in my uh, in financial sphere. Yeah, when you don't have problems with money. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Uh, so, Vitaly, can you say that you are in the black now? Mm, Vitaly, can you say know. that you are in the black? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, really. It's, it's hard to say now. Um, I'm working in uh, um, an oil and gas company, so it's not bad, but uh, I want to, uh, I want more, of course. Uh -huh. If you don't have any debt, it means that you are in the black. Do you have debt? Mm, no, I don't. No, it means that your company is in the black and you are, as a representative of it, you are also in the black. Hello to you, Mikhail. Do you have the link? No. <laughs> so we are considering the agents and to be in the black means uh, to, to have money and not to have debt, not to have uh, problems with money. Yeah? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When? Hello to you. How should I call you? What is your name? When? Uh -huh. <laughs> we will wait <laughs> until you are here. Okay, so to be in the black, yeah? Uh, Vitaly, what do you do? Uh, what do you do when you are not in the black? Mm. What do you do when you are not in the black? I understood. Uh, I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe I try to um, to work uh, to to do something that uh, I feel better in my and um, that I stay in the back. Uh huh. Uh huh. To be in the back. Uh -huh. Can the you back. suggest? Uh, can you suggest the opposite of this expression? To be in the black. And what is the opposite? The idiomatic opposite. Alexander, can you suggest with other colors? So I think in the red. Uh huh. So uh, great. So to be in the red means to have a lot of debt. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, can you can you figure out the origin of this expression? Происхождение этих выражений. Can you figure out the origin of this expression? Why is it so? To be in the red means to have money problems, and to be in the black uh, means. Uh, to live in a proper way without those problems. Uh -huh. Can you suggest why do they say so? Evgeny, do you have any suggestions? Uh, um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, I can give you the explanation. Uh, ну, вот бухгалтерские журналы, да, где учет приход и расход, да. Вот если приход он превышает расход, тогда черная чернила преобладает, да? А если расходов намного больше, тогда преобладает красная чернила, да? Вот в журналах там расходы и прихода. So the origin is like this. So if the black ink ink это у нас чернила, да? Ага, Вася, hello to you, Василий, how are you? Are you with us? Uh -huh. So uh, to be in the red means uh, to be short of money. 
Там просто такой момент, что когда он только заходит в самом начале, там буквально там пару секунд флаг такой, что я все слышишь, но ничего сказать, ну, когда... So to be in the black and to be in the red. Okay. Cap in hand. Cap in hand. Vitaly, can you explain this expression? You have it in Russian, but in English. Cap in hand. What does it mean? Cap in hand. Uh, uh, so when you uh, need some money or you need some uh, help uh, mm -hmm. in finance, maybe in some finance, so uh, you cap, you be cap in hand. You have. You have. Cap in hand. Uh -huh, you have, you have, uh -huh, you have cap in hand. Uh -huh. uh, so, uh, Alexander, can you give any situations when the person has cap in hand? Uh, when he uh, hasn't job. Uh -huh. Doesn't have a job. Uh -huh. Hasn't got a job. Maybe he uh, injured hard. Uh -huh. What does he have? He has injured. What? Injured. Uh -huh. Injured. What did he injure? Um, no, invalid. Uh -huh. So if he is a disabled person, yeah, he has cap in hand, but only if uh, the government doesn't help him. Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, I see. If he doesn't get enough uh, uh, help. If you come to your boss, does it mean that you have cap in hand, Vitaly? Uh, please repeat the question. I don't, didn't hear. Uh, if you come to your boss, when um, you come to your boss, do you have cap in hand? Um, no, I think no. No, <laughs> no. you do not ask for anything, yeah. <laughs> no, but it's not, only, not like a cap in hand because uh, it's my job and uh, he's my boss, so it's like uh, our uh, um, отношения. A relations. Relationship. Uh -huh. so and if you ask for pay rise, uh, does it mean that you have cap in hand? If you ask for maybe, pay rise. Maybe, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, if I really um, need and my job with COVID ответ. What? With COVID, my telephone to. Ну, и там есть вот такое meet somebody's expectations, meet uh, somebody's uh, requirements, so you can say like this. Uh -huh. If the job meets my requirements, my, my expectations. Requirements, so, and so I, I, can, I can ask him about it, and uh, so I, I really uh, don't think that it's uh, how cap in hand. Uh, in Karen, uh, cap in hand. Is it, is it embarrassing to have cap in hand? Uh, embarrassing, I don't know what is it. Uh -huh, you don't know this word. Uh, when you feel ashamed, when you think that it's unpleasant and you feel ashamed. Uh -huh. uh, is it embarrassing? Maybe yes. In this uh -huh. situation, maybe yes. Uh -huh. It depends on those people yeah, who take part in it. Vasily, are you with us? No. Okay, the next the idiom, eat out of the hand. Alexander, can you explain this idiom? Eat out of the hand. Eat out of the hand. Uh, it uh, means... Do you have the same expression in Russian or not? Uh, um, uh -huh, so can you explain the meaning? Uh, eat out of the hand. Uh, in English? Yeah, in English. Can you explain? Hello uh, to you, Libor. <laughs> hello, Nina. Hello to everybody. Hello. Okay, so Me today we are considering the idiom. Uh -huh. So, Alexander, could you explain the meaning? Eat out of the hand. Uh, it uh, means uh, <coughs> to, um, to be uh, handily. <laughs> Uh, to be obedient, I would say, послушным, yeah? To be obedient, obey, это слушать, obedient, послушный, uh, to be obedient, to obey somebody, yeah? Uh -huh. So it means that you uh, eat out of uh, 
hands of this person, yeah? Mm -hmm. It's out of the hand. It's out of the hand. Любовь, can you name the situation when people, one person is out of the hands of another one? So can you give uh, any situation? It's a question for everybody. Mm -hmm. So do understand it in the context. Mm -hmm. Maybe, for example, um, she has married and her uh -huh. husband <laughs> is out of her hand. Uh -huh. So I just wanted to say that it's also about love relations. Primarily, it's about love relations. Yeah, when uh, somebody um, is very obedient. Okay, the next idiom uh, for Vitali, right hand man. What does it mean, right hand man? For example, um, the situation uh, about boss and me. So I can uh -huh. be right hand of my boss. So it's like this. Uh -huh. and if, if I do, if I do something, it's, uh, if I do something very important uh, and uh, ответственность, responsibility, uh, responsibility, uh, uh -huh. thing, so uh, I can be. Um, uh, uh -huh. right so if now. you take responsibility on yourself, yeah. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes, yes. And then my boss can, a... can uh -huh. ask me something very, uh, very difficult and important. So. I think mm -hmm. have you have you ever been a right hand man for somebody? Uh, yes, I've been. Mm -hmm. I, I, have, uh, I have been. Uh, are you are you a right hand man now? Uh, no, because I changed my uh, my job. Uh -huh. And how is it? How did you feel uh, while being a right hand man? Is it stressful? Uh, it's not stressful. It's uh, um, it's <laughs> unfair. Uh, it's unfair. Yes. Why? <laughs> I can suggest, because but I would like you to explain. Unfair because uh, you you feel that uh, you do a lot of uh, job, but money goes to not your <laughs> hands. <laughs> uh -huh, I see. So that's why you left that job. Was it the reason? Uh, no, it's not because of this. I want to change my city. Mm -hmm. Even so. Uh huh. I see. Okay, the next video. Vasily, are you with us? When, Vasily? <laughs> People who are silent today. Uh, okay, so join us if you can. <laughs> if you can. Okay, so the next one. Leave hand to mouth. Uh, Mikhail, what does it mean? Uh, leave hand to mouth. Uh -huh, you have the Russian explanation and you can give it in English. So. Uh, maybe uh, 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 nothing to eat. Like <laughs> we have nothing to eat to, to endure, to experience money problems. Can you uh -huh. find the equivalent, uh, the equivalent for this idiom? from uh, the list which we have considered. Can you find the synonym from the list, Vitaly? In the red. To be in the red, yeah. To be in the red and to leave hand to mouth uh, means uh, almost uh, the same. Yeah, almost the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Vitaly, can you give the situations when a person leaves Hand to mouth. Mm. <laughs> uh, near uh, near the church, you can see uh, a lot of these people who don't mm -hmm. doesn't doesn't have don't don't who have leave, money. Who leave yes, hand leave, to mouth. Uh -huh. Leave hand leave. to mouth. Yes. Uh huh. Uh, hand to mouth. Uh huh. Любовь, can you see any ways out? How not to leave hand to mouth? Can you see any ways out? How not to leave hand to mouth? Mm. Just one How way. How to avoid? To walk. To walk. Uh -huh, to, to work walk. a lot. Yes. Uh -huh, to be a worker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and if you are a right hand man of somebody who doesn't pay, <laughs> that it will not help. Yeah. Okay. The next idiom is for Alexander. Uh. Can you read it? Can you explain it in English? 
have one's hands full with. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Can you explain in English? It means uh, be busy uh, mm -hmm. by doing something. Uh -huh. doing something. Uh -huh. After busy, we use gerund, yeah, <laughs> ing form. Uh huh. To be busy doing something. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh, with uh, with Ali, can you say that uh, now you are having your hands full with uh, something? Um, right now, I am having. Uh, I will have one's hands full uh, listening English. Listening uh -huh. Why only one hand? <laughs> Why not both hands? <laughs> learning ah, uh, uh, with learning uh, English. Uh -huh. uh, so okay, I'm having I my have, hands. I have in my hands full with uh, doing. I, I don't know. For example, doing some exercise. Uh -huh, English doing, doing running, uh -huh. running, I like running socks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see. When are you with us? <laughs> what? Martin, are you with us? When? How should I call you? Could you introduce yourself? When? Yeah. Uh huh. Can you hear us? Oh. Uh. Hey, Vasya, <laughs> Vasily, are you there? Василий, can you hear us? <laughs> okay, so laughing out loud. Я yeah? понимаю, что просто людей зовут совсем по-другому, и поэтому они не реагируют ни на вас, ни на вас. Так, Вен, вы нас слышите? Вы разговаривать можете? Вы меня спрашиваете? Да, ой, хорошо, как можете. Так, uh, okay. я вас спрашиваю. Could you introduce yourself? Можете представить? Uh, Окей, okay, no problem. Uh, my name is Ivan. Uh, I, live Ivan in... uh -huh. uh, I live in Russia, Stavropol city. Uh, mm -hmm. It's between uh, Black and Caspian Sea. Uh, wow, and fun. I work in a computer uh, company. Uh, and uh, uh, I set up uh, uh, a lot of computers for my clients. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, we see. So you gave the information like in the CV, yeah? Do you know what is the CV? <laughs> so yes. okay. So Vasily, are you here? <laughs> okay. Ivan, have you have you opened to the document? Uh, yes. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, so, I have. Well done. I see. Okay, Ivan. And now we uh, we are considering the idiom make a mountain out of a molehill. Can you explain the meaning in English? What does it mean? Oh, for example, um, I think um, uh, when uh, uh, I make uh, of uh, a little problem, uh, I make uh, a big problem. Uh, for, uh -huh. for example, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't uh, have uh, 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 something. Uh, <laughs> But it is uh, no pro problem for me. Uh, uh, but uh, I am, I make a problem uh, of this. Uh huh. You make a problem of it. Yeah. Uh huh. I see. Uh, what does it mean? Molehill. Molehill. Can you explain? Do you know this word? Molehill. Uh, molehill. Uh huh. Uh, don't you know? I don't understand. Please. Uh huh. Does anybody know what does it mean? Uh, molehill. Uh, Muha. Okay. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry. Дело в том, что не абсолютная калька происходит с русского на английский наоборот, да? Мол, хил, мол это крот. А хил вы знаете. What is it, хил? Хил. Холмик, да. То есть делается бору из холмика нарытого кротом. А русский эквивалент, конечно же, да, делать из мухи слона. Okay, so Lubos, do you often make a mountain out of a molehill? <laughs> I don't think no, but my grandma, she is uh -huh. one of the person who worries about everything and she makes a mountain out of a molehill. Uh -huh. well. <laughs> how do you cope with this situation? How do you calm down? Sure. No, I, 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 I'm doing nothing. <laughs> I just leave you. I just go away. Yes. <laughs> okay, no help at all. Uh-huh, I see. Okay, the next one, Alexander. 
Make heavy weather of something. Uh huh. So can you can you give the equivalent of this? Make heavy weather of something. So the synonym. It's uh, this um, idiom uh, similar to list. <laughs> Uh, to the previous one, yeah, make a mountain out of a molehill, or you can say make heavy weather or something. Uh huh, make heavy weather or something. Uh, Alexander, uh, what can be the reasons when you make heavy weather of them? So, what can happen that you uh, you uh, you start making heavy weather? What can make you do this? Maybe. Uh, if we uh, uh, if we are afraid of doing something, and <laughs> we uh -huh. and and I mean, what can make you do this? Uh, for example, uh, some people uh, are fasting about fasting about it, the na chemta, da? Some people are fasting about their health. Yeah, uh, some about relations. Uh, somebody is fasting about. Um, economics in the country. So, uh, what are uh, these things which can uh, make you uh, make, uh -huh, which can make you make heavy weather? Которые могут заставить вас делать из мухи слона? Health, uh, relations, <laughs> atmosphere in the country. Maybe, uh, Mental, maybe health. <laughs> uh -huh, health. Okay, Vasily, are you with us? Vasily, are you with us? Vasily. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, Vitaly, let's consider the next idiom. Uh, make a sign. Um, make a scene. 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 Uh -huh. Make a scene. Can you give the explanation? Mm, I think uh, um, every girl can make a scene. Uh, <laughs> and that's for men. <laughs> of nothing, of nothing. <laughs> because uh, I don't know about men, because I'm a man, so maybe we are like you, but uh, I think, as for me, I think uh, uh, girls are uh, more. Um, hysterical, uh, what? <laughs> hysterical, yes, for making scenes. And, Scene, scene, scene. Uh -huh. uh, I have given you the synonym in the in the chat. Throw a tantrum. Uh, throw a tantrum also means zakatit hysterical. You can say make a scene or throw a tantrum. Mm -hmm. Th throw a tantrum. Okay, uh, Vitaly, uh, can you uh, can you say that uh, girls who you know or your girlfriends uh, uh, makes a scene uh, make makes scene rather often? Very often. <laughs> <laughs> Very often. <laughs> okay, I see. So your opinion. I hope she she doesn't uh, hear this. Yeah. Okay, the next one. Uh, Любовь. Закройте ссылочку, кого открыто, пожалуйста. Black and blue. Uh -huh. uh, means uh, to be beaten. Hi. By somebody, uh, maybe. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> By somebody on, on, on his own, yeah, so... Oh, okay, uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. Bruises, what does it mean, bruises? Uh, what, what? Br uh, bruises. bruises, I have written in the chat, what does it mean, bruises? Maybe I don't know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So you can say to have bruises, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, to be uh -huh. covered with bruises, with injuries, uh, means to be black and blue, uh -huh, black and blue. Mm -hmm. uh, Alexander, have green fingers, what does it mean? Uh, have green fingers. Uh, uh -huh. Do you have green fingers, Alexander? Uh, no. No? <laughs> no. I have on green fingers. Uh -huh. What does it mean to have green fingers? What's wrong with those fingers? It means uh, to be uh, a good uh, garden. Uh, we can say be good at uh -huh, be good at be gardening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At gardening. 
Yes. Uh -huh. To be good at gardening. Uh -huh. Do you have green fingers? <coughs> no, I don't. But I, I would like to be... But because I have no garden. <laughs> uh -huh. I, have like, I have only flowers in my home. And uh -huh. they are really good. Okay, okay. Uh, Vitaly, the next video is for you. Uh, I have a question about uh, fingers. Uh -huh. uh, is it just about uh, green? Uh, I mean, uh, garden, or it's like a business to have uh, green fingers? It's like just about uh, garden? Uh, uh, yeah, about garden. Ну, это как мы в русском говорим, ну, я не знаю, то есть все слышали такое выражение, у него легкая рука. Это значит, что человек посадил ну, да, что-то... Ну, это, это я имею в виду, это не только касается, ну, как бы, садоводства. Я так думаю, что это и в бизнесе тоже, ну, как бы, в работе тоже, да, или только... No, it no, it doesn't concern business, only gardening. When you uh -huh. plant something and it grows very well, yeah, so okay, only okay. in this way. Uh -huh. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> an interesting idea about business? No. Uh, uh, okay, with Sally. Uh -huh. Be green with envy. Uh -huh. so it's uh, very interesting It's uh, when you worry, uh, uh, um, Like, uh, злой, злой, злой. Uh, uh, envy, uh, это не совсем uh, злой, это завистливый, да, то есть позеленеть от зависти, uh -huh. to be green with uh, envy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, uh, you, can, you can substitute with the synonym jealous, да, вот если вы хотите на английском объяснить, тогда можно заменить словом be jealous. Uh, be jealous, okay. это быть завистливым, да, поэтому, mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. so when you feel jealousy, uh, да, когда чувствуете зависть, when you feel jealousy, uh, jealousy. Uh, Виталий, uh, do you often feel uh, green with envy? Does it happen to you? <laughs> uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it's different on situation. I think when you uh, green uh, with envy and it's... Uh, It's good for, and it's not bad for, for that person, uh, and so it's, uh, it's, I think it's not bad. But when uh, uh, you're uh, envy, not only envy, uh, jealous, you're jealous, uh, um, can bring, bring, uh, bring something bad for that, for that person, so I think it's not, it's not good. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I see. Ivan, can you tell us what can make you green with envy? What can make you green with envy? Oh, uh, <laughs> I can't. Uh, when my friend uh, was uh, in Thailand, uh, I was uh, in a uh, snow star pool. Uh, then uh, I was, uh, uh, I was uh, green. Uh, With uh, envy, uh -huh. with very envy. bright example. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Любовь, can you, can you be green with envy? Does it happen to you? Yes, of course. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm, I'm, you person, that's why, uh, I'm very, uh, I can be very uh, green with envy when I see a very uh, cute, expensive car. Александр, what can make you green with envy? Is it a good feature of character at all? <laughs> uh, I don't know, maybe good. Uh, <laughs> I, I am agree. I am green with envy. Uh, If um, um, uh -huh. we mentioned cars, so we mentioned vacations somewhere in warm countries. Okay. What else? Uh, when somebody have a girl, which mm -hmm. I like. <laughs> <laughs> Who I like because she. <laughs> okay, she, so it's, it's rather funny. So, but it's true, yeah. Okay, the next idiom, Vasily. Are you with us? <coughs> Yes. Василий. Oh, это Василий, да? Yes, so, have you opened to the document? No. Как? Нет, не открыли, а давайте откройте. If I will 
После if will нельзя, Василий. Так, if I... Так, открывайте. Открывайте, да, и мы сейчас рассмотрим идиомы. Make one's hair stand on end. Make one's hair stand on end. Любовь. What does it mean? Make so, one's hair... I, I, I think my, my hair uh, stand on end when something terrible has happened or... Yes, uh -huh. Can, can it stand on the end uh, if you are watching the horror film? <laughs> yes, <laughs> Or hear some noise at night, yeah? Mm -hmm. So that is... Mm -hmm. uh, keep one's hair on, Ivan. Keep one's hair on. What does it mean? <laughs> mm -hmm. One moment. Uh, uh, uh -huh. You do not follow us, yeah? <laughs> keep one's uh, hair on. I watch. Mm -hmm. uh, keep one's uh -huh. hair on. Uh, I think uh, it's uh, when uh, uh, when uh, when uh, when I have uh, a problem uh, or uh, or uh, or uh, some something uh, challenging. Yeah, something challenging yes, that uh, uh, needs a lot of effort. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, uh, and uh, I uh, and uh, I uh, uh, and I don't worry. <laughs> and uh. I don't worry. Uh huh. Uh, how how do you manage uh, to keep your hair on? Русский эквивалент нервать волосы на себе, да? Yes, yes. So yes. how do you manage to keep your hair on? Uh. Are there any secrets? I don't understand. Uh, please repeat. How do you manage? Как вам удается? How do you manage to keep oh. your hair uh, on in stressful oh. situations? Uh, I'm practicing uh, yoga and uh, uh, and uh, uh, and uh, uh, first practice. Uh, Yes, uh, I practice. Uh, I'm practicing yoga. <laughs> I am practicing. Uh, I am practicing yoga. Uh huh. I'm doing yga. Yes. Uh -huh. Can uh -huh. uh, 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 my friend uh, 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 help uh, me. Uh huh. Help you. He he is always by your side. Yes. yes. He's yes. next to you. A very reliable person. I hope. Uh -huh. Okay, the next idea. Yeah. They uh, make a deep breath, типа глубокие вздохи, или как вдыхание глубокое, или как правильно сказать? Ага, who does it? Who is doing this? Нет, ну вот как бы что, типа справиться как-то с трясом, типа делать глубокие вдохи. Ага, сделать. А глубоко вдохнуть и и сделать. Deep breath, или как это правильно? Uh, ну, я думаю, да, так вы говорите, make a deep uh, breath. Uh, uh. Ну, давайте сначала скажем, как по-русски, то есть формулируем по-русски. Ну, чтобы справиться uh, со стрессом, я делал глубокие вздохи. Ага, uh -huh. <laughs> you, uh, you should take a deep breath, да, глубокие вздохи, you should take, я думаю, что там take должно быть. Uh -huh. I see, a kind of meditation, relaxation, yeah, and so while you are breathing, <laughs> the things can get worse, да, вот пока там вдыхает, и все может ухудшить. Okay, so the next idea, Mikhail. Oh, what is the next? <laughs> After not keeping not one's hair on, uh, not to turn a hair, what does it mean? Not, not to, to turn a hair. hair. Uh, it's something uh, like uh, keep on... Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's the same. Uh -huh. Любовь, can you give the Russian equivalent for this uh, expression? Русский эквивалент можете дать? Not to turn a hair. Мы же так не говорим, да, и волосом... Мы говорим, волосом не пошевелил. Может быть, пальцем не пошевелил. Мы говорим пальцем, да? Не пальцем не пошевелил, это когда бездельник, по-моему, нет? Ну да, да, да. А, а мы как говорим? Бровью не повел, да? И бровью не повел. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So he, he was... Uh, we have learned to this phrase uh, uh, to be as cool as a cucumber. Мы когда-то с вами учили, да? To be as cool as a cucumber uh, быть хладно... Хла... 
холодным, как огурец, это, это означает быть сдержанным, спокойным, да, то есть тоже идиоматическое значение, то есть the person who is as cool as a cucumber means that he, he is very quiet, he, he cannot let other people to get on his nerves, yeah? Okay, the next idiom, Alexander. Uh, to lose one's grip. Uh -huh. uh, it means uh, um, uh, to lose uh, skill. Uh -huh, to lose your skills, uh -huh, to do something. Uh -huh. uh, Vasily, are you with us? <laughs> Vasily! Uh, Ivan, so uh, can you tell us, does it happen to you that you sometimes lose your grip? I mean, uh, work relations. You feel that you need more training because you you lost some time and now you have to no. revise. Uh -huh. Do you often lose your grip at work? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a very hard question. Mm -hmm. uh. Vitaly, do you often lose your grip at work? Yes. No, not often, but I uh, no, lose, uh -huh. I lose one uh, uh, when um, I I learned English um, before uh, few years ago. So and now I try and to. And then you you lost yes, your grip, yeah? Grip, uh -huh. Yes. And now no, I have time to uh, to do something uh, that um, that we do not because. Um, Come back my uh, my skills. Ага, to to return uh, to to return. Ну так лучше не надо. Давайте refresh, освежить, да? To refresh mm -hmm. my to refresh my knowledge. Ага, uh -huh, to refresh my knowledge. Любовь. What what should the person, the professional, do in order not to lose his or her grip at work? Um, I think he or she must uh, continually to. Um, to improve uh -huh. your, or his uh, skills and to practice the art. Uh -huh. And to practice all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Alexandra, the next idiom is for you. To lose one's touch. Ah, mm -hmm. It's the same. It's the same, yeah. <laughs> so just uh, the same. Uh -huh. And to the next idiom, Ivan. Oh. The last but one. The last but one. Uh, to lose on snow. Терять терпение. Uh -huh, терять терпение. What can make you lose your nerve? Uh, 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 we discussed some lesson those annoying things which can make you lose your nerve. For okay, example, okay. cracking knuckles, вот когда костяшками там, <laughs> cracking knuckles, or chewing the gum, or being not in time when you agreed for something. So. Uh, I lose honest nerves uh, when uh, my dog uh, uh, every uh, morning uh, barks uh, and uh, uh, barks and bugs uh, again <laughs> and again. Uh, uh -huh. and, uh, when uh, I I can't sleep. Uh huh. Uh huh. I see. <laughs> so, uh, Vitaly, uh, uh, do you do you lose your nerve when somebody interrupts you? Uh, yes. <laughs> we don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. And so do you try to say somehow to this so. person that? Yes, I try to explain that it's not very good because uh, when this man or uh, this person can uh, can uh, want to explain something to me and I can interrupt him, so he must understand <laughs> that it's not very good. Uh huh. I see. Любовь. What can make you lose your nerve? Mm, uh, to, um, frankly speaking, I'm a very patient person, <laughs> but I don't like stay in a line and uh -huh. I lose my nerves, uh, my nerve when nerve somebody... in a singular, yes. I lose my nerve. Uh -huh. I lose my nerve uh, when somebody 
um, goes um, first, then me, for example, in a line. Aha, uh -huh, so I see. Uh, in a line or in a queue? Yeah, queue. In a queue, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so, aha, uh, uh -huh, uh, Alexander, what can make you lose your nerve? Are there any other cases which we haven't mentioned? Um, maybe when I drive, uh, I can uh, to lose uh, to lose my nerve a uh, little. When you, when you what do you do? When do you lose your nerve? When when I drive. Uh -huh, when you drive, but uh, you should be uh, patient while driving. If you have for the passengers. Uh, isn't it frightening? Isn't it dangerous to lose your nerve while driving? Это не опасно терять терпение, когда вы видите машину? I uh, I lo lose uh, my nerve uh, not uh, fully. I just uh, say something rude and uh, again keep. Keep uh, mm -hmm. my hair on. <laughs> okay, uh huh. You you used the two idioms, so thank you a lot, Yuri. Hello to you. This uh, this link is for you. Let's open it. <coughs> so let's open what? it. This link is for you in the chat. Can you see it? Chat. последняя ссылочка для вас, чтобы вы открыли документ, and you will join yes, us. Mm -hmm. So the last idiom, Yuri, can you see it? The last idiom, white lie, can you see it? The yes, last idiom yes, in yes. the list. Uh huh. What does it mean, Yuri? White lie. What does it mean? Uh -huh. In Russian, can you explain it in English? <laughs> can I help? Oh. Uh -huh. Well, can you... it means that a person lied to not to do, not to hurt someone or offend, but to make something good for person, for uh -huh. other person. Uh -huh. Yuri, is, is it good, is it, is, can it be justified, может ли это быть оправдано, can it be justified when somebody tells white lies? Do you believe in such mm. kind of lies? Well, I think sometimes it can be Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. I usually don't do like that because I don't think. <laughs> I tell just lies. Yeah, <laughs> not lies. Okay, it's a joke. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> it's a lie. Mm -hmm. Can you give any cases when uh, people say when people tell white lies, Vitali? Perhaps from your life experience. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I think everybody had uh, qualified because uh, I, I really don't uh, don't like this uh, this line. Why? I really because it's как видно же по слову, да? Because uh, when when you go why it's uh, it's why and uh, sometimes uh, that person can can know the truth and it can be more. Um, worse, worse than uh, than it's uh, than uh, this person um, know about it before. So. Uh -huh. uh, Medvedia услуга у нас будет clumsy assistant, clumsy assistant, неуклюжая помощь дословно, да? Clumsy assistant. Uh -huh. I will put it down. Uh, so you can see that uh, nothing can turn a bear. Yeah. Ничего общего с медведем нет, <laughs> вот, но тем не менее. So clumsy as it can. Okay, so here it is. Uh -huh. And uh, now I will give you the link for the exercise. You have to open this link. And there we have uh, those idioms which we have just considered and some idioms more. So we will uh, consider them while uh, doing the exercise. So let's open. Let's open and so the first the first sentence is for Alexander. I'm sorry, I have crashed your car. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, что вставлять? Uh, uh, 
Самого примерного, да? Извини, да, я, я разбил твою машину. But Но... Uh -huh. Ага, это so uh, 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 <coughs> Я забыл, забыл, забыл. Ага, uh -huh, let's have a look. But keep your hair on. Uh -huh. It's not the end of the world. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Is it really not the end of the world, Alexander, when the car is crashed? Uh, um, so, do you agree with it, no? Yes, I agree, I agree. Uh -huh. So, it's the end of the world, yeah? <laughs> okay, любовь. So, uh, so the, uh, the exam is over now, and it all ends very well. So, you can? Uh -huh. um, so, <coughs> so, it's the idiom which we haven't considered. We haven't said, that should be not all idioms. Из тех, которые мы рассмотрели, uh, let one's hair down звучит это идиома. Let one's hair down. Can you can you suggest the meaning? Let one's hair down. It's very popular, so don't you know the meaning? Ну тоже что-то вроде успокоится, да или вздохнуть? You can say like relax, yeah, расслабиться. Ну даже в значении повеселиться. Так, а у меня есть один, да? Ага, значит, let your hair down and relax. And relax. Okay, the next one, Mikhail. Third sentence, yeah? Ага, the third one. When the president of our team was... Firm, firm. Firm, was kidnapped, he didn't... Didn't, uh, <coughs> uh, 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 didn't lose, maybe, no. No, with turn, the hair. <coughs> turn. Turn, uh -huh. he didn't turn a hair. Uh -huh. That is done. Uh -huh. He didn't turn a hair. Okay, the next one for Ivan. I was listening to uh, bus uh, drivers speaking on the news and some of the stories. They are talking about uh, uh, make uh, my hair, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, hair, hair, uh -huh. my, my hair, uh, uh, and uh, to. Uh, uh -huh. Ага, смотрите, значит, дело в том, что после make нельзя ставить to. У нас есть три глагола, после которых нельзя ставить to. Это make. Uh, может, кто-то поможет еще какие? Make. Here, let. Uh -huh. Так, here, это <laughs> почему вы думаете? Ну да, с ощущениями, да. Make, let и help. Uh -huh, и help. <coughs> а, хорошо, make, let, help. Поэтому to там не ставьте, да? Uh -huh. So about make my hair stand on end. Да, волосы стоят дыбом от таких историй. Okay, the next one. Uh -huh, the next one, uh, Yuri. We will next help you. One. Let let just read, and we will help you because you have missed all idioms, yeah? Uh, the fifth. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, number five. Number five. When my uh, mother. When my mother released. Uh, realized that she was beginning to lose her and mm -hmm. she sold her company and began spending more time with the family. Mm -hmm. So, uh -huh. Who can help? Which word should we insert? Maybe uh, lose, to lose one nerve. No, no. Okay, let's translate. Let's translate to this sentence. Yuri, давайте переведем. Когда моя Мама осознала, что она начинает а, терять, ну, что... Кто-то там, да, она продала. Да, она компанию. продала ее компанию и начала тратить больше времени с семьей. Да, можем ли мы сказать, что она это сделала после того, как э, потеряла самообладание? Вряд ли, Но. да? Тогда что она потеряла? Вот для чего? Тач, ага, грип, вот тач. Окей, спасибо. Василий. 
The last trial, <laughs> Vitaly. Um, I would like to drive, but every time I have to pass the driving test, I lose my uh, nerve and uh, uh -huh. can't do anything. But uh, just, uh, but. Uh, Fail, fail. Uh -huh. uh, how would you translate to this construction? Can't do anything but fail. Uh, Ничего не остается, кроме как провалить тест. Да? Uh, ну, давайте uh -huh. по ней немножко пройдемся. Вот как сказать. Не могу не рассмеяться вот с этой конструкцией. Иван, можете сказать? Uh -huh. Uh, 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 нет, не могу. Ага, ну то есть она звучит вот так вот. Uh, can't do anything but. I can't do. I can't do anything but. И после этой конструкции подставляется, что именно вы не можете не сделать. I can't do anything but. Ну вот давайте скажем. Не могу не рассмеяться, Иван. Uh... I can't uh, uh, do uh, anything. Uh, anything, uh -huh, anything but. Uh, but. Uh, but uh, love. Love, love, или love. burst laughing, да, если такой громкий смех. Burst laughing. Ага, uh -huh, burst laughing. I can't do anything but burst laughing. Uh -huh, любовь, давайте скажем, не могу не рассказать. Uh, I can't do anything but uh, telling. Не, не, не. Ага, tell, да. Это же просто у нас там burst, а потом после burst идет герундик. А так вообще инфинитив, да? Окей, the next sentence is for Alexander. He used to be an excellent barista. Barista. What does it mean, barista? I don't know. Lawyer, lawyer, jurist, да? Но более в узком значении, ага. Okay. He used to be an excellent barrister, but because he loved the prominent murder case, he mm -hmm. felt that he was <coughs> losing his... Mm. Uh -huh. You can translate if it will be easier for you to understand. Давайте переведем, Александр, чтобы понять, что надо. Он раньше был отличным юристом, но потом... Because, но так как он потерял проминент... Uh, ну, uh, проиграл, да, проиграл выдающееся дело об убийстве. Да, uh, он felt... Uh, он почувствовал, да, felt, uh -huh, uh -huh. что он был... Он теряет... Теряет свое... Uh, uh, обладание, что ли. Uh, был раньше хорошим юристом, потом проиграл дело а, об убийстве. Теряет свои навыки. Да, да, как мы можем сказать? How should we say? Uh, так, это было. Touch, ага, touch, or grip, because they are synonyms. Ага, любовь. The next one is for you. He didn't mean to hurt you. You are making a mountain out of a molehill. Mm -hmm. Well done, Mikhail. Uh, what is the number of sentence? Uh, number nine. Number nine. Uh, my sister has to write a short story for next week. Uh, I saw it was a simple task, but uh, she seems to be making heavy. <clears throat> but she seems to be making heavy. Тяжело. Моя сестра напишет, или как хочет написать, да? Have to – это должна, да? Должна, в смысле, не внутреннее должностование, а внешнее. Да, она должна. Короткий рассказ, историю на следующей неделе. Она, я думаю, это будет... Легкое Простое задание. задание. Ага. Считает, think, считает или как? Uh, think to – это кажется. Think to. Uh, Но think. кажется, она сделает... Тут ей кажется именно, да? Не, не, кажется, я думаю, постороннему наблюдателю, <laughs> вот этому да, человеку от первого лица. 
Да, то есть, ну, кажется, она... Ага, who can help? Ну, давайте, как будет делать из мухи слона? Weather. Ага, weather. Ага, make a heavy weather. Это то же самое, что и делать из мухи слона, да, вот то, что у нас было там. Make a mountain out of a mole hill. Окей, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, okay. the next one, Иван. Иван. Oh. <laughs> ага, Юрий. <laughs> Uh, two hotel guests were making a scene in the hotel lobby. It was most embarrassing. Ага, ну вы знаете, да, что все время говорят, что мы делаем ошибку, когда ударение на первый слог надо на второй. Hotel, hotel, ага. Uh -huh. Hotel guests. Ага, so which words have you inserted? What? Uh -huh. Какое слово вставили? Which words have you inserted? Ah, I said scene. Uh, how, should we, how should we pronounce it? How should we pronounce it? Как оно произносится? Син. Син. No? Син. 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 Я вам на русском напишу. Это я. Я забыл. Син. Ну, окей, the next one, the next one. Uh, Виталий. Uh, I've paid off, uh, I've paid off. All my debts, and it's a good feeling to be in uh, in black the again. Uh -huh. Again, uh -huh. uh, article there shouldn't be put there. Uh, how do you pronounce the word "долги"? How do you pronounce the word "долги"? You write "b", you write, yeah? Debts, debts, debts. Yeah, "b" it should not be. I wrote it in Russian. Debts, debts. Uh -huh. debt. uh -huh. Uh, Alexander. Uh, after the accident, Karen was uh, and but luckily she was alive. Uh -huh. She was covered with bruises. She was covered with bruises. She was injured after the accident. She was injured. Uh, ну, это я вам так, а давайте диаматически скажем, то есть как, если человек весь в синяках. Вот, после несчастного случая Карен была, ну, да, синяя и черная, да, дословно, давайте скажем. Блю. Uh, ну, черная и синяя, да, black and blue. Ага, uh -huh, black and blue. Black and blue. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. She was on black and blue. Yeah, black and blue after the accident. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh, Peter can get anything to grow. He's really got green fingers. Uh -huh. Well done, Mikhail. Uh, okay. <laughs> what is the number of the sentence? <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen, okay. Fourteen. Uh, I don't want to go Uh, to the cinema tonight, uh, so I will tell all <coughs> part. I think to study for quite a bit. I is better than. Мне не надо сегодня идти в кино. Ну, я скажу Полу, что мне надо готовиться к тесту. Вот какое-то вранье лучше, чем обидеть его чувства. Ага. Uh, maybe uh, wise. Uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Wise lie. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well done. Lost the blaga. Да. Wise lie. Uh -huh. Number fifteen. Uh, Yuri. When Catherine knows you're going to go to Miami, not her, she'll be uh, with NY. Envy. Uh huh. От злости какая она от зависти как. Red. Red. You can see the picture from from the right. We oh, green, green. Green. Uh -huh, green. Ah, у нас же тоже так говорят, да? Зеленый от зависти. Говорят так, нет? Okay. I never Not heard. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. So number sixteen, Vitali. Uh, Bill spends lots of money on silly things. She's been in the. Uh -huh, let's translate uh, it. It will be easier. Uh, Bill tried to bought uh, her shade. Mm-hmm. На дурни речи, да? Ah, на дурни речи. He's been. Okay, no, he. 
Ну, давайте скажем, что у него проблемы с деньгами все время, сколько я его знаю, у него все время проблемы. Black, да? Black is long. Uh, black is, is a positive one. А вам надо сказать... Red as long as I know him. Окей, well done. Uh -huh. Uh, so uh, let's uh, leave uh, this, uh, this part, uh, this part. Uh -huh. So one part of this exercise, I mean from 17 up to 23, uh, it's uh, well known to you because we have considered those idioms, yeah? А, то есть вот с 17 по 23 мы с вами идиомы рассмотрели, а вот то, что касается последней части заданий, этих идиом мы не рассматривали. Давайте вы скопируете себе эту ссылочку, да, чтобы это было как ваше домашнее задание, и, наверное, мы сделаем вторую часть, идем part 2, и вот те, кто уже были, им будет легче немного. Да? So let's copy this link. Yeah? So have you copied? Have you focused to this link? Yes. Okay, so I thank you for your work. I hope that all idioms were new for you, except the white lie, I think, yeah, because you can get to the meaning. Uh, I hope to see you next time on Sunday at the same time. Uh, so at the same time. So the topic, uh, it will be the grammar topic. So. Uh, Oh, thank you a lot. Have a nice evening. See you later. Goodbye to you. Thank Bye. You. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.